Welcome to my lecture online. And finally, for the big question, how does the dielectric affect the capacitance of a capacitor? In the previous video, we noted that the electric field between the plates changes by a factor 1 over k. In other words, gets reduced when you insert a dielectric with dielectric constant k. The voltage between the plates gets reduced by the same factor, and the energy stored on the capacitor gets reduced by the same factor. All of that, of course, is provided. You started with a capacitor hooked onto a battery, so that charge was pushed onto the capacitor, and then you disconnected the battery from the capacitor, so that you ended up with a charge Q onto the capacitor, and then you ended up inserting a dielectric with dielectric constant K, and that's when we noted the changes to the electric field, the change to the, vo to the voltage across the, uh, between the plates, and the energy stored on the capacitor. It all comes down from the realization that the electric field is defined between the plates by the charge density divided by epsilon sub naught when we have just air in between the plates. And so it can define it like this. Q divided by A is the charge density. But then when we put a dielectric in there, the electric field cannot be defined as sigma, the charge density, Q over A, divided by K times epsilon sub naught K, again being the dielectric constant. So how does the capacitance change? Well, we can say that the initial capacitance, before we put a dielectric in there, is equal to the charge divided by the initial voltage. Notice that the charge can change, but the voltage can. So now we realize that if we add a dielectric, we now have a new capacitance, which is equal to Q times the new voltage. And from what we saw before, that the new voltage is going to be 1 over K times the initial voltage. So this is equal to Q divided by 1 over K times V initial, which can then be written as K, because we have 1 over K in the denominator, K times Q divided by V initial. Now, since C final is equal to K times Q over V initial, and Q over V initial, well, that was equal to the initial capacitance before we put the dielectric in there. This is therefore equal to K times C initial. And here you can see that the capacitance bugs the trend. In all other respects, the electric field, the voltage, and the energy all were reduced by a factor of K. Instead, the capacitance is increased by a factor of K. So the capacitance final, when you put a dielectric in there, is K times the initial capacitance before we put the dielectric in there. And so therefore, that's why the equation, when you want to write the equation for capacitance based upon the physical aspects of the capacitor, is going to be K times epsilon sub naught times the area of the plates divided by the distance between them. And so you can see that this is where the equation came from because we realize that the capacitance is increased by a factor of k when a dielectric is placed between the plates. And that's why we know.